Now that you've got your domain purchased, we're going to do a little bit of setup and make sure that it points to our Kubernetes cluster IP. Specifically, the IP address that you can find by going back to your Kubernetes cluster dashboard, going to services, and then finding the ingress controller right here. So that's the IP address that we're going to make use of, and we're going to make sure that going to our domain name that we just purchased is going to point at that IP address. Now to set this up, I'm going to find the DNS settings for the domain that I just purchased. So I'll click on DNS, and then we'll scroll to the bottom of this page. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'll find custom resource records. We're going to set up two separate records in total. The first one is going to make sure that anytime that someone goes to my domain name of multi k or k eights multi .com, they get forwarded to the IP address that is specified right here. The second rule that I'm going to set up is going to make sure that if someone goes to www.k8-multi.com, they go to the same IP address as well. Remember, there is a difference between, say, www.google.com and just google.com, and we need to make sure that we handle both cases appropriately. All right, so under custom resource records, I'm going to put a at symbol in here like so. I'm then going to make sure that the A record type is selected. I'll put in a one hour time to live, which is essentially a description of how long it's going to take for this new record to kick into effect. And then we'll enter in an IP address over here. The IP address is going to be the IP that was assigned to your load balancer. And again, you can find this by going to the Google Cloud platform and looking at the services tab. So my IP address is 35224471. We do not need to add on the port at the end. We need just the IP address by itself. So I'll put in the IP like so. Now again, notice that there is no colon AD on here or anything like that. It's just the IP address. Okay, so I'm going to add that record. And then we'll create one other record as well. I'm going to change the type in this dropdown to a CNAME record. I'll put in www on the left-hand side over here. We'll again do a one hour time to live. And then for the domain name, we're going to make sure that if someone visits the www address, it's going to send them to k8-multi.com. And of course, this will be your particular domain name, not mine. So once we get that in there, I'll then click on add. And that's pretty much it, we're good to go. Now you'll notice that on the right hand side, there's a little dot on there that got inserted. That's totally fine, you can leave it in there, no issue whatsoever. All right, so we've now set up our domain name and we've pointed it to our IP address that has our load balancer. After some amount of time, we're going to eventually be able to go to the domain that you just purchased and be able to access our application. Now you are going to be able to do that even before we set up all this HTTPS stuff. You can access the domain appropriately without going through all the HTTPS setup, but of course you are still going to see that red error not secure message until we go through that setup. All right, so let's take a quick pause right here. We'll come back to the next section, and we're going to continue with starting to set up our Kubernetes cluster to obtain a TLS certificate. So quick pause, and I'll see you in just a minute.